Well, something has to give here. China have to either win their first set of the week. Or maybe Serbia will win their first 3 0. It'll be the first game for a long time that doesn't go to a tiebreaker. What a rip that is. Vucevic has been given the first ball. 28 points yesterday. Good feet. Hammers through it. Todorovic with the serve, sitting at position one, now playing defense on the cross court, chasing this one. Todorovic, side out plays from both teams. First points for both one to watch. It's a point already for Jiang Chen and also a point for Vucevic. And China seem to have a knack of just missing serves out for that they've missed too many this week they're a young team so potentially experience is part of the game and you do feel pressure when you're serving it's the only time in the game where you do have full-on control of that first touch two in the block Vucevic teams up with Simic bouncing around in the middle Serbia just seem to be in cruise control already, Dai. Throwing down already. Two in the block, just slower plays from China. Lozano mentioned yesterday that he was happy with his performance against Brazil for China than against Portugal. And he also felt that if China would have played like they played against Brazil against Portugal, then it would have been a different story. But if is a very... Very big word. Pass into a good zone. Quick to the outside, two off the middle blocker. The speed is slightly too much for China at the moment. Had a great game yesterday. Belanich. Just the speed's too quick for the middle blocker. Doesn't quite press, drifting. That's exactly what they're trying to do. Play with speed to the pins and outrun the middle. Die passes far too tight. There's a lift, so an upward motion out the palm of the hand from the setter. Simic back on the front court. Oh, sorry, not the back court receiver. Back court receiver cover as well. Second chance for China in transition. Great setting. Well done, China. Shangu Chun just working that ball from left to right. Again, really making it difficult for the Serbian blockers to track it. Opens up gaps between the block. Okolic, quick, but not that quick on that occasion. Die. Pekovic a target. Back to the middle, what an angle. A, what a camera angle, and P, what a spiking angle as well. Okolic charges in square on and works off the body. Middle has to be up really early. Bullets from the baseline again, but China are in system. Doesn't matter how you win them, if you pass well, you can paintbrush the middle, still score points. First start. But, wow, Runtun, the middleman that plays for Hubei. Front court receiver serve from China, trying to stress out, take away the angles from the spiker so he can't hit too sharp cross court. Has to go more towards the line, that's exactly what he does. Chance wide to the outside, the seams open this time. Todorovic just flips it out, sends it. Middle's nowhere near it. One on one, you fancy Serbia. Nine times out of ten hit. All day. Setting again. 
using the middle at every opportunity, trying to hold the opposition middle blocker. It's worked. Flooding the middle from China means that when the pass is good and they go to the outsides, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Simple as that. The middle blocker, it's tough for them to keep watching. They have to make decisions quick and they have to make decisions based on the pass and on the probability of where the ball's going to go. Serve goes long, another miss serve from China. First technical timeout. Very quick first technical timeout, in just five minutes. It's Serbia that already look in control, but China at times are using the middle. Be interesting to see what happens next. Zano took to coaching early on, the head coach of China. Realized he wasn't going to make it as a player. Started coaching at 19 years old. Often seen with his son at big competitions. Surrounded by Argentinian assistant coaches and a translator. Passing into a good spot. Simic sees it, doesn't he? The middle blocker has to watch the setter for any cues or signs of where the ball's going. Maybe he doesn't see it. Maybe that's the camera angle. My mistake. It's just a hitting error. Looked as if Simic had got his hands in front of it. Better passing. Seams are open. That time there certainly is a block. Hello. It's a monster block as well from Sirovic. First one of the day. Swinging out, pressing into the airspace of Serbia. Dropping his hands inside, taking the block. Five point game. Service pressure again, key here. High roller, just sweeping up Serbia on the baseline. Six is sitting so deep. And six for Portugal, which is the back center of the court position six. Daikin Yao is very, very high up here. Libero. Tom Shihua. Because they're creeping so far up, Six's job is sometimes to try and get that ball that touches the block, but the hoover's on. And all the players are just getting sucked into the plate. Six point game. And you'd be very sure that. At the start of the week, if you'd have offered Serbia this position, two wins, 11-5 up against China, probably would have bit your hand off for it. Portugal were happy with taking a point off of Serbia last night. That's a no-brainer as well. A win for them against China and a point against Serbia certainly puts them in a better place than they arrived in the VNL table. Going straight to the line. Good timeout. So often that we see a loss of concentration. Pokalitz fires long. Lulibin. Top spin jump serve. That's a good one as well. Petkovic all at sea. Out of system. Two in the block at least. Not only two in the block. Two that are perfectly formed. No splits, so no seams available. Better from China. Double trouble. Dai King Yu. And Raul Shu Han doing the business. Todorovic in the perfect place to set up an attack. Vuseevic. Just. And the pass is good from Serbia. 
crazy good volley, but one-on-one -on -one again. The middles, they're overloading the play to the left side, sending it to the right, trying to get Vucevic one-on-one -on, -one on that 10 ball. Also, China are trying to make Serbia go through the left-hand side of court. Trying to stack the play that way. Two up, good finishing position in the block. They can't get the kill block. It's continuation to the wings. Two continuations. No, that one's gone out. Better from China. After yesterday, Nikola Gerbic, the head coach of Serbia, was saying that the service reception really let them down in set four to take it to a fifth. Which frustrated Gerbic, but delighted the crowd to see Portugal go 5-3 in. The reason they're doing that is to try and stop Vucevic hitting any angle on the net, but he finds a way to smuggle it through Dai. Dai is the best option there because he has to travel the furthest, it makes it difficult to press. This is good from China. Very good from China. Uh, just swatted through from Chun, but Zhang Chun just gets a bit carried away and almost takes the net with him. Soft serve from Servic, takes a lot of speed off of that one. Scrappy from both teams, chases on, underarm set, but it's wide, not the prettiest point of the game from either side. This time, Serbia out of system. Vucevic rips, but rips wide. China are growing again here. Put your seatbelts on. We might have a bit of an epic on our hands after all. Maybe not on the form book, but China might just find an avenue or an alleyway to get through here. Not that time. And for China. To stay in the VNL is everything. Timeout from Serbic Snaze. That one looked out. Mistake. Shun. Certainly in. China all of a sudden. I fired it up. The Zano is animated as well doesn't need a translator for the hand signs. Pressure well and truly on Serbia now. First time. Five, six point lead earlier on throughout this set. And the service pressure, the one to watch. We highlighted him at the start of the program. Zhang Chen. Time out just again to try and get in the server's head, to try and force him to make a mistake. Jack, no mistakes. Good from Serbia as well. The back set, sharp. That's the toughest swing from there for Simic, because that ball has to travel across him before his arm goes away from him as well. It's much easier to hit the ball the other way, but he knows where the space is. Swing of the day so far. Just a change, I'm trying to hang in for Sean. Top scorer so far is that man, number 23 for Serbia, Vucevic. Four from four. Simic will serve there. Good pass is the call from the sideline, from the Chinese bench. Chance three in the block, stays high. The decision making has to change depending on whether you have two blockers against you or three. Knows he's got three on in there. Stays really high and tries to go off that blocker again. He has to travel the furthest. So technical timeout, 16-11. Just as China had started to get into the rhythm of the game and really start to ask questions of Serbia, Back to a five-point lead. 
people were talking about Vucevic, number 23 from Serbia. 28 points yesterday, four already today. Can't wait to see if he lives up to a growing expectation of what we've come to expect from him throughout this week. He's been battling for this starting spot as a right side up against Drazan Petkovic. He's taken the starting position from what was Serbia's top scorer at the start of this week. Be wanting to contribute in the blocking and serving aspects of the game, but as an opposite man, he will get set a large percentage of balls, and his job is for the team is to be that constant threat on the right side. And you think of the best opposites in the game: Sokolov, Wallace. Mikhailov, Zaitsev, they've all been linchpins for their teams. Tanisevic as well. Error from China. Ball's just dying inside on Dyke. The more that ball drops inside the left shoulder, the less angles they have back to the line. Because you're going to have to have very, very quick feet to open up all the court again back to the middle China are flooding it really early on it's you who's in now setting good cover well done Todorovic the three in the block through save the pitch you could maybe put five in there at times and he'll still have a little look for where the gaps are and put it away delightful work but all round Serbia just doing their job as they need to. They're covering, they're staying still in defense, they're making plays, and they're, because of that, getting rewarded. It's another timeout. This time for China. Chinese league is something that's growing quite rapidly in men's and women's volleyball. Each team allowed two foreign players to go to the league, and players like Kevin Tilly from France has been out there the last two seasons. Before now moving back to Poland to play for Warsaw, but some big players going out there at times. And uh, the opposite, just playing on the left side for the time being. Wang puts the ball away. It's good from the left hander, isn't it? Ball's gone down. Lots of Chinese. Athletes falling on the floor after it. That pipe attack. It's a good read from the middle blocker to look through the net. Maron Tong. Miss serve though. The Chinese men's league starts in October and ends in February, so it's a really good league for anyone looking to play less volleyball. They usually only play one game a week, where in Europe, in club volleyball, they're playing sometimes two to three times. So especially for some players looking to recover from a long-term injury, Okolic, back to business. Shanghai are the current champions of that league. Two foreign players per gender, but Julio Sabi and Clemens Chibol. Substitution for Serbia here as they attack through the middle again. Sevic changed to Meric. Serbia looked very comfortable here. Another error. 29 errors, China against Portugal. They do just try and lump it out there and hit it as hard as they can at times, which it's a physical game, but you have to be smooth and accurate. Good runner serves this from Kudandic. There's another one that goes in. Left-handed. 
on with his second point of the game. Can be happy with that one. One from the left side, now from the right. He's aggressive. Hits a really smart angle away from the blockers. Shan. Comes back in. Three spikers on the front court, China. Again, when the setters on the front court, it's difficult to try and make that middle blocker work hard and spread the play. China again, a, a little bit inconsistent at times, but they're working really hard for each other. But then the odd sloppy play, like the set that almost goes over the net, it's an over set, and it plays straight into Serbia's hands. It really does. Now make one good play, and the next touch will put them straight back under pressure. Communication problems, easy pickets. Three will do it for Serbia to take this opening set. Again, they're trying to make the ball go to the outside by serving straight down the line, but doesn't matter where you serve. Serbia need to wake up. Keep their eye on the game. Maybe they are a little bit too chilled. been caught out. Not happy, Vucevic. Rightfully so. Piper, that's better. Now they're awake. The alarm clock's gone back off. Get back to business. Good on ditch. Just on that second tempo, Piper attack. Wider play in the middle, takes the blocker. It's great disguise from the setter. Makes it look like he's always going to the outside or that way and then just pops it to the middle through the pipe. Slightly out of system this time. Pipe attack followed by pipe attack. Unfortunately for China, Lulia Bin fires into the net. So first set point for Serbia. Surely Serbia won't play less than five sets today. They love going to a tie-break set, but this has been a good performance to start with. Dropping it in short. First one goes into the net. Fusevic. Serbia have just looked better with Fusevic on the courts this week. Serving to stay in the first set. That's a better serve from China. Lots of service pressure. Fusevic hammers the line, but he goes wide. Challenge from Serbia. They're looking for a net touch here. They just need to put a pin in this for China because they don't want China getting above their station. Gaining confidence for the next set. Might not be enough to win this set here for China, but they start to grow as a team in confidence throughout this stage. You never know what might come our way a little bit later on. Net touch. Looks as if Vucevic went through the net in the end, so challenge. Well, certainly not wasted, that wouldn't be the right word. Game slowed down. Raushu Han. Ball in the hand. Passing into a good zone. This should be it for Serbia. Tipping away. Good reactions in the block of China. Die from the outside. Scoop from Petkovic. Out of system. Three in the block. Chance to put this game well and truly to bed, but no. Vucevic missed to the line, but goes sharp angle. Fades it away. Hits off the body. Scores, and Serbia are in control here. They're looking to go three from three in Gondomar. Twenty-five seventeen. Great first set for Serbia. China once again up and down. Some great bits of play and then some inconsistent work as well. The odd net touch, the odd time that 
where they would struggle. But let's have a look at some highlights from set one of this China versus Serbia. Big game here. Well, the stats should explain everything. They're not putting the ball away, that's for sure. More attacks, more blocks. And that's due to service pressure as well from Serbia. The block count is usually as a result of good serving. And the errors are the same, but China aren't quite at the same level as Serbia hit. Fusevic once again has led the way. Against Brazil, China did improve in every set, and that's got to be at least a short-term goal for Lozano and China. Yeah, hashtag enjoy VNL. Come and join the conversation. What do you think of this one? It's got to go up another couple of notches, really, isn't it? It's a big game, this, for China. They really need to try and put some more pressure on Serbia. China relegation at the moment is what's at stake for them. Serbia are in a comfortable position. Remember last year Serbia went 11 and 4 in this competition. They've already lost the same amount of games this year in the VNL as they did in the whole of the last year. Serbia will be looking to put pressure on those teams above them. They've, they've lost four matches. The likes of France have now dropped two. Brazil won. So they have to go on a real good run. It's the top five that go through with the host nation, which is the USA. So the USA can afford to come wherever they like, really, within this VNL still have a team in the final weekend. And that's the final six round. On two leagues of three that play each other. Top two teams going through to the semi-final. So we're ready to go again in Gondomar. This is the opening game of the day. Portugal versus Brazil later that should attract the full crowd, really. Look straight out of system, Serbia. Chance for China. They need a good start. And they're out of system again. Just out of rhythm, really. Just the setter and the hitter not really on the same page. Another chance. That's much better. The ball's in front of Jung Chun. First time, he was just in a little bit too early, or the set was a little bit too slow. China do play really quick, so they'll be trying to get in as quick as possible to score. That was better. Look at this. Swing down the line there. Second one goes. Long though. The start here from China is everything. If they allow Serbia to dictate the game from the service line, they're always going to be playing catch up. They need to get in front, but three in the block. Yes, yeah, certainly three in the block. Touch off the hands though. That's a good swing. Die again, just gets through that one. A little bit late in the block, Vuseevic. Leaving a little bit of the seam open. And 
three again from China. Look at the reactions from their team. They've taken a quick 3-1 lead. Now there's a different taste in their mouth. Good work from Dai to get across and get his hands in the way. Confidence, everything in this game. Simic works off, there's another error. Completely different start. With exactly the same team here from Serbia. They're unchanged. Todorovic setting. Simic in the middle of Okolic. Sorry, Okolic. Well watched back there from Johnny. Okay, different context now. We know that Serbia are inconsistent because every game they play at the moment goes to five, which means they're not as consistent as Gerbitz would like to be, especially in that reception is what they're talking about quite a lot. Next week for China, they have Canada, Japan, and the USA. Tough games. They'll have to see that game with Japan as one that they can really go after to win before playing Argentina, Australia, which that Australia game in week five could be so crucial to the finishing standings for this Chinese team. Australia is still just with a warm win, but they're sitting above China. Zhang sends that one almost into the stand. Twenty-five seventeen, the first set score. So they're already doing pretty well here, China. The opposite's firing up as well. It's another cannon to the line, Zhang. Unleashes. Let's the ball travel across him and then Bosch. They are stepping up here, China. It's exactly what we wanted to see. Fusevich. He's back to business as well. There might be a challenge here from China. No. There's a few questions asked from their team, just in or out. Fusevic hasn't missed many though. This is a this is in great setting. That ball's traveling eight or nine meters to try and get the opposite man without a block, and it completely works. Ace. Fusevic, point scorer, potentially his middle name in this VNL week three. It's his first ace. That's point number eight for the afternoon for him. Not another one, it is another one. They've knocked him straight out of system. Got the free ball. Serbia cooking again here. Vusevic may as well just do it himself. There's Jaza Lubric on the side. Opposite, who hasn't seen much court time. Vusevic has been doing the business. Another overpass. Game changer here. Vucevic is just changing the game. Yes. Kajanic puts the ball away. But that's all about Vucevic and how he's just grabbed this one by the neck and it's just dragging his team through. He's really coming of age this week. 7 6, and we're one away from the technical. China have called that timeout to try and deflate Serbia's momentum. Fusevic, nine points. Top scorer here by an absolute mark. Of the top scorers, Zhang Chen, just five for China, but then Serbia, Kadonic, four, Okolic, three, Vsejevic. Just causing destruction. Brazil, Portugal, they've all been on the end of it. That's frustrating, really, because they've tried to take pace off the serve there, Serbia, post timeout, and they've still missed. May as well have just gone for broke. Having a chat with himself in a dialogue, working well. 
two miss serves in a row. Focus is key. We go to a technical timeout here in Gondomar. One point game. China, who started so well at the beginning of set two, have just been pegged back slightly. Serbia putting their foot down again. It's just the way that he's contributing to the game in every aspect, blocking, spiking, on the ten attack, so when he's hitting from the backcourt, also from the service line. For a 20-year-old, you can just see that there could be big contracts coming his way. Playing for George Vadina, Semayan Serbia. Five players from that club playing for this team. Better. And China in system, they run that offense so fast, so quick. Liu putting that one away, catching the libero high. Mastrovic, who hasn't played as much this week as Petkovic, the usual libero. Oh, reactions! Well done. Todorovic goes to Vuseyevic. You can't stop him. Credit to the setter Todorovic for seeing that one off the top of the net and going after it. Okolic takes turn as the setter, Vuseyevic just does his job. It's just what he's done all week. Passing off the net, two in at least here for Serbia. Good reactions once again, chasing everything down. China having to work hard just to score, but the wing work is really good again. Two up and driving through the ball. Serbic, who leaked a couple of passes at much time last night against Portugal has started with much more consistency. Tied at nines. It's much closer set. One on one, should be a point all day. Serovic, huge there, but it's because of the passes in a great place. Tight, high. The middle commits with the middle. Leaving a one on one on the outside. Serovic will happily do the rest just proving again how key passing is but serving is also key Todorovic with the ace Serbia open up a two-point lead and a slow start shaky start China was strong although now Serbia are back in front more overpassing is that three or four no it stayed alive no overpass Absolutely my mistake, it's a game of fine margins. Serovic, two from two on the wing. Welcome to the game. That's just his fourth point so far. Going over the top of the opposite from China. Smart swing. China's pass has just been inconsistent as of late. Working off the body, it's well seen. It's a little bit late, maybe, from position six, Kajinovic. But again, Vucevic. How many points is he going to score today? He scored 28 yesterday. He's on 11 already. This time working off the body, looking for the hands. Double substitution by the looks of it. Mitch is coming back in for Sirovic. Meric, kind of only plays in Serbia for Rosvadina. 21 years old. It's a young Serbian team really, with just one player over 30. Spatch out the back, Jean. Another error 
it's the consistency from China that's really their limiting factor here. They'll go through stages at the start of this set where they actually start to ask some really serious questions of Serbia, but then they'll just take their foot off the gas and nobody really will step up and take overall control. Easy. That's like taking candy from a baby at the moment. If you can't pass the ball into a good spot, you're going to struggle. Passing is key for China. You just have to feel for them because they've worked so hard throughout the early stages. They really have better. There you go. Passing into a better zone. Closer to the net, into that mid area. Zeta can run the game. Zhang can score all day from there. Rao Shuhan. Credit to Serbia for still passing into great zone. Simic really working well in the game, trying to work the ball back to position on the left-hand side of court. The blocker takes a step to the left because he's watching the blocker, and then the blocker just turns it back. So China have got a reputation of trying to play really fast with, with their offence. This is just an example of how quick they're playing. It's a great view as well, birds are Serve pops in, and they're trying to run that game quick to the outside and lose the middle blocker. The quicker you play, the ball moves faster than feet. And that's exactly what China are trying to do. And it's because of the pass. They passed into a good zone where the setter can speed the game up. They need to do a lot more of that to get back into the game, but it's the first pass that's cost them dearly at times. Inconsistencies, maybe insecurities as well after struggling through this b and it's an experience for them as well six points the difference that's better from china Hello, and it's that service reception. We just spoke about it. Maybe just under a minute to go. When the pass goes in, the setter can speed the game up. This time he flies it to the middle, and he's quicker than the opposing middle. Because really, the middle blocker from the opposing team is watching your middle blocker. So if you play quick enough, you will win. Serbia doing exactly the same thing. Simic v Nyarum Tong. <laughs> Serbia ninth in the league at the moment, just behind Poland, the world champions under Vital Heinen. So a win here will maybe get them to the top of the tree or above Poland for a minute. That's block out. same thing they play quick enough and if that middle blocker does release to the outsides they can still go off the hands because he still can't penetrate the net in enough time it's a game of speed it really is physicality angles yes but also just playing as fast as possible Serbia have a tough group next week That's some group from Milan they have Italy, Poland, and Argentina, so it's not going to get any easier for Serbia. China. Where was this form? At the start of the set, they passed this well. They ran the middle. They scored points. Then they went to sleep for a while, made some sloppy mistakes, and now they're back again. The middle's being used. Watch, they'll go back to the outsides in a minute, and the middle blocker won't be able to get out. And then the wing spiker's chances of scoring will increase. But for as long as they pass poorly, they can't dictate the opposition blockers. Kondic serving. He's got 
good serve on the serve really well last night as well. Wide, better, they're tipping away. Vuseyevic makes the read, but he can't get the pancake. Better, again, they're playing so fast. Flat, over the top. Defenders can't even settle. They have to change position depending on where the ball is set to cover a different area. If you play quick enough, you catch them out as well, especially when they're so big. Okolic is back in. So it's well as China are playing here, siding out. They're, they're finding their side out rhythm, which is when they're receiving serve. They still can't make any stops on Serbia. So the gap in the score stays the same. But they will be boisted by the way that they're just playing better volleyball in set two. The score's the same, but... Radizani looking slightly stressed out. <laughs> Top spin jump serve. Needing a few, but getting zero. That's just another gift for Serbia. This is why China have to play so well, because they have to try and pass well to side out, but they have to stop this onslaught from Serbia because they're siding out just as good. They haven't really dropped their level as such throughout this set. Ah, and then Serbia make a defensive play from nowhere. China score, but that's the difference that we're speaking about. Serbia are putting more pressure on China in every aspect. The seam's open, though, and Jung goes to town on that one. China serving, who their women's team are currently the Olympic champions. The men's program have quite a lot to do to catch up with the women's, but there's every step of the time. Finally, they get that stop. Can't remember the last time that they stopped a side out from Serbia. It's a monster block. Now Rung Tung getting back to work. That's because Serbia pass out of system. It gives time for the blocker. Out of system again, passing problems. Vuseyevic doesn't kick out, doesn't drive through the ball, over rotates. The ball's coming from behind him. Makes it very difficult to track the ball. What is going on? Serbia have just tightened, the, sorry, loosened their grip. China have sided out well for a while, but couldn't get any stops on Serbia. They've just got two in a row. <laughs> China's best World well League finish was a six. So they made the final six to finish six in 96. That's a good result. The VNL now is the World League, combining the Women's World League and the Men's World League together. Won three gold medals in the Asian Games, 86-90. 98. It's tough to compare them to the success of the women's program at the moment. Timeout does nothing for Serbia. Back to two. Unbelievable. Substitutions. Lubric is coming in. That's to create another front court hitter. Vucevic and Todorovic sacrificed, and that's just to make sure Jovovic is in. Actually, Jovovic is in as a front court setter at the moment, so just changing both positions. To the outside, Jovovic, who's played well, goes to the wing, and this is unreal from China. We were saying they couldn't get a block, they couldn't buy a defense, they were siding out okay. In the last five minutes, it's gone full tilt. Back to one. 
Xiao Xu Han with an ace. No, it's kept alive. China flying again. Serbia now have to put their seatbelts on. It's a bumpy ride for them. Can they bring it back even? No, there's a chance. Surely Serbia. No, it's really, really scrappy. Jovovic gets the job done, gets the ball through. Commitment to the cause for Serbia. The service pressure from Al Shuhan. And eventually, Serbia are off that rotation. Jovovic with the joust. That's a good camera angle. First substitution, the bridge, Jovovic change back. Kuzmanovic, who's been a key cog in the Serbian team this week. On the side as well. It's crucial with so many games coming up. Have to keep resting the team. Out of system. Two in the block. Should close it out. No. Slows the game down, though. Todorovic goes with speed. Kodanovic fires it to the line. Okolic absolutely loving the super spike, and so he should do. Timeout China. They've absolutely come back into this one, but Serbia have just increased the pressure again. Kudanovic, crucial blow to the line. Two for Serbia. Lozano looks really into this. He's believing in his team again. He believes they can make points. Raushu Han's service pressure was key. Serving flat, potent, and it made three or four plays on Serbia that we hadn't seen actually throughout the last couple of days. Two will do it. Now it's serving. South Portos goes through with the right hand. Perfect passing again from China. And that's been the difference in the second half of this set. But the defensive work, Mastrovic first time. Two times in a row for Serbia, and then a block. Vuseyevic rains down a little bit of pain on China, but it's a defensive work as well. Just a combination of the block defense doing the business here. One on one. Quick to the pin. Set point to go 2-0. And passing well. China are playing much better. This time smuggling through the drifting middle block. Scooped up from Vuseyevic. Bit Hollywood to the outside. Pancake as well. This game giving us a bit of everything now. It's heating up. More width. Vuseyevic through. China stay alive. Both teams giving 110% in the block defense capacity. The pipe attack goes out the back and China are still surviving. This game just seems to have come alive over the past 10 minutes or so. It's a mega rally. So many defensive plays. Another one for China. And it's a monster block. Game of momentum that's now with China, but they're still two points behind at the end of the second. Momentum still with China as they're knocked out of system. Serbia scooping around on the defense. It goes to the outside through G, but it's blocked again. Vuseyevic. 13 points, two blocks, 10 kills and one ace. 28 points yesterday. yesterday. Vuseyevic is leading. The line again. Serbia go up two sets to zero. China are getting better with age this week in the VNL. It's a long way back from 2 0 down. It's 
game that's definitely growing. As we have a look at some highlights from set two, China getting better and better, but can they gain a set? It's going to be close. moments at the end of set two. Bozadar Vucevic still the top scorer with 12 as we have a look at some set stats from set number two. 11 attacks all, that's a different story than the first set. Serbia well in charge in that column. Blocks are the same but the ace is higher from Serbia. Errors, just one more error from China. But you can see already that China are just putting more pressure. Top scorer for China is number two, the opposite player, Zhang. Ten points, eight attacks, one block, and one service ace. And despite China being behind, he's leading the charge, and that's why he's the one to watch, because serves like this one. The ace in set one, where he wasn't even sure if the ball was in or out. The line, he can hit back cross court, and he really is the linchpin of this Chinese team. Still just 24 years of age. That's just confirmation 10 points. He's getting some words of advice from Raul Lozano as well. One block, one serve. Can China just, seems to be a repetitive word for their performance throughout the last few days, just consistency. They know they can cause the big guns some problems. Serbia have won their last four games. Every single one of those games going to five sets. surely and it going to five might be quite high here though can China pass the ball into that front central area of the court to allow the setter to just speed up the game run into the wings use the middle and just have all that dictation of the game we're about to find out started so well in set two and they finished so well but in between they just took a little bit of a nap and Serbia stayed consistent throughout there you go passes into a good zone Raul Shuhan just steers it back to one trying to work it away from the blockers hands take the defense on and they should be confident they have to back themselves in here Good from Serbia as well. High level start to this one. Been a couple of changes for Serbia. Liberic starts, so the top scorer, Vucevic, has been rested. Liberic stays on and scores again. Liberic's first week in the VNL. Vlinovic again from the baseline serves. Brutally fast at times. Captain's in, and he's scoring. Almost just dislocates the shoulder going that way. Faces to the line and just works it away from the shoulder. Shibao Shui. Kudovic out of system. Lubric, man who plays in Turkey. They've got 
three opposites, really. Serbia. Rusevic, Lubric, and also Petkovic have all played through that area. They have depth in that opposite position that other countries would just give anything for. Captain, two in a row. Opening two points of this game. Now, sure, right? You can just see the speed. It's not high setting. It's quick. It's trying to rush New Bridge in the block and beat him down the line. Very good. Schwarz made a real difference here. Serving with. Lubrich just stays really high, smart. Proving again it's not all about power. Lubrich is a big unit. Two meters, two centimeters. If he stays high, smooth, he'll go over the top of blockers. Sometimes a walk in the park for him. Lubrich now serving. China. Getting better, Lubric stays high, looks to go off the hands again. The referee says it's out, but Serbia are sure that there's a touch off this one. For anyone watching Lubric play at the moment, his ability to not try and hit steep, he's looking for the top of the hands, he's looking to hit the perimeter of court. He's not trying to thrash the ball. It's close. There is a touch, so it's Serbia's point. <laughs> Lubrich again. Causing some chaos for China. But China hit themselves out of trouble. Lee Lubin. Bizarre. Ferocious swing, really, to be able to face one way so far and then work his shoulder back across the court. Not easy. Lubrich has certainly made a difference since coming on. It's time Okalix puts the ball away. Lubric at position six on the backcourt. Won the Serbian Cup twice, Serbian Championship twice, but the FIVB World League 2016. See the European Championships. That was Serbia winning the World League in the year that they didn't qualify for the Olympics, which is crazy. Lubric now playing some defense, running towards the advertising boards. Mastrovic to Libero, who's fighting for that Libero spot. intensity about Serbia that are making China all the time do something really well to beat them. Maestrovic puts it on an absolute point, but huge blocking. China are up and down, but when they're playing well, they're a force to be reckoned with here. It's a monster block, pressing, taking time away from the spiker. Lights out. <laughs> Soviet desperately trying to qualify for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Especially after missing out in Rio. They won the Olympics in 2000. Ah, oh, Lubrich off the chest. Second opportunity. Persistence throughout the rally pays off. Lubrich. Okolic is hurting as well, but oh, off the chin. Takes it on the chin as well. Lubridge. Looks as if the Nets might have got Okolic in the Doesn't want to cry about it too much. Gets on with proceedings. Waiting. 
patiently, the blockers. They're looking through the net for anything they can see, Lubridge. The depth they have in this position. Alexander Tanisevic, who's not here this week, the Perugia outsider, he's had such a successful career, plays his volleyball in Italy. He's been talking about how Serbia, the main goal for them is to make sure that they qualify for Tokyo. Yes, sir. You can see why they're a powerhouse nation. Tanisevic played at London, 2011 European champion as well, with Serbia. Back to the outside, more points off the ball. We go to the technical timeouts. And it's Serbia that lead by one. High wind from speed, blocker can't get across. Gaps developing between the blockers. So you can join the conversation as you have been able to throughout the VNL. In the world, the hashtag enjoy VNL. We want to know your opinion. How are you seeing the games? Who do you think can go the whole way in this fantastic conversation? Uh, sorry, competition. It just brings us the best teams playing week after week. It's a feast of life. Serbia. Missing Alexander. Tinisevic. Tinisevic carrying on that conversation. Best scorer, World Club Championship. 2012, best opposite spiker in the Champions League 2017, most valuable player in the Italian Cup, most valuable player in Serie A in 2018. And that was a league that included the likes of one Terena, Sokolov, Engerpeth, to name a few. We'll bring a different dynamic. Serbia being in front at every technical timeout throughout this game. Right. He's got three points so far from China's eight. Setting. Todorovic once again setting the middle when it's most difficult. When he's slightly off balance, he has to steer it from the left side to the right in the path of the spiker, catching everyone by surprise. Drumvich, massive serve, just pasting it, taking a battering to the line. That's one way to stop the captain. Great camera angle, you can see everything. Just belting the line. But when the captain here, Shidao Shuai, is playing so well on the outside, one way to stop him from spiking is to serve him really aggressively and take his rhythm away. They're in system again. Back to Shun. Massive three up. Lights out. Mayit has been monster blocked by three Chinese blockers. Mao Tan. No gaps in the block. Solid. fast place. Lubrich. Funny, isn't it? We've seen him in system, so in rhythm when the ball's in front of him, try and stay smooth and go through the ball. And then when he's out of system, he just thinks, yeah, whatever, I'm going to try and swing through this one as hard as I can. Doesn't get rewarded. China just tugging at the shirts of Serbia. No way! Another monster block. Mayic shot down twice in a row. And look who it is again. Maru Tong. 
2-0. China. It's a long way to go in this one. Todorovic goes back to the middle. High swing. Simic. Maru Tung has already made two blocks on the right side there. And just by using the middle, it's going to hold him a little bit later. So when it does go back to the wings, Serbia are hoping that he's a little bit slower getting out. Pipe attack, China are just more consistent. It's exactly what we wanted. 11-11, absolute fire in this game now. Chase is on. China starting to manipulate the game a lot more. And as you know, in sport, you're either the one getting pushed or you're the one doing the pushing. Whereas Serbia, early on, just doing all the pushing. China started to push back here. Pushing Serbian bodies all over the floor. Okolic, the middle getting involved on the pass. A little bit of DIY, four touches. Okolic isn't supposed to pass, his job's not to pass, but the serve is so short from China that has no choice. Look, he's at the center of absolutely everything again. Shido Oshwai, serving short to the center. Okolic now doesn't have to pass, but he can swing. He swings really well through the ball, and all of a sudden, Serbia have the ball back in their hands. Making more blocks on the wings. Now. Service errors will. Now it's done a great job. Now he has to try and serve to keep this lead for China. Turn straight to the line, trying to push the ball to the outside. It's exactly what happens. Another block. That's been teed up from China. They serve straight down the line from five to one. Knowing farewell that they're going to put the setter under pressure. Make the ball go in on such an angle. There's no back set there. There's no middle attack. The middle release is really early to the outside. They've lined that one up. Key. Lozano. We'll be happy. Too many blocks. China in this one. Three now from Mao Bruton. Two from Mao Shuhan. We have a game on our hands here. Mum says thanks. Wonder what for. Good time out from Serbia, just disrupting the rhythm. And that's just got to hurt China. Coach Lozano would be wanting more there. Just when you've got Serbia where you want them, do not let them off the hook. But they're passing well, they should score. No, Luberic. Back to the outside, Kajanovic. Rashovic has to cover, sitting still underneath the block. They're buying their time throughout both teams, building through the rally, trying to create pressure. More pressure from China. What a dig that is from Maestrovic. And then chiseling to the line. It's a little bit of a jolty touch. So chance in the block, excellent blocking. And it's all because of the first touch from Shang, the opposite. Leaked that ball so wide that there was no middle attack. The middle block had just released really early. That's earlier on in the rally, 24 seconds. You can see two up. Tries to go to the line. Todorovic makes the block. Ace! And from 15-12, that ace has brought us back level. What a timeout from Nikola Gerbitz. And now his boys back on top four. Back on the inside, trying to take the front court receiver out again. They have to go to the opposite. 
A little bit late in the block. Not quite pressing. Technical timeout has come. China not quite in the position they were a moment ago, leading by three points, just by one. But it's the first technical timeout within the game that they've been in control. So they're improving, and that's key. Well, China, as we said, are just growing throughout. An example of this just coming our way. It's another great view, isn't it? The bird's eye view. Serving straight down the line. They block so well. And because the pass is on an angle and it's fast, there's no other option but to go to the outside. The middle blocker, Rao Shuhan, knows that. He releases. He gets across with Shang. And they get the two blockers up. And the coach knows exactly what he's trying to do there. Let's have a look at some stats. We know that the blocking is key, but four. Four blocks in this set, two more. It's a game changer, isn't it? They've been below Serbia's clubhouse lead on the spiking stat, but the blocking is what's giving them the edge. Good passing. Now going opposite, changing the pace of the play. China going quick. Okolic going quick. Kadanic really penetrating. It's a monster block. No line available. That ball's just dropping inside. 16 0. Okolic straight down the line, trying to do the same thing. China do go to the middle. Difficult for the setter to go to the middle with that ball being served straight down the line. It's exemplary stuff. Raul Shuhan's also got to take some credit for his timing and the way that he can get in front of the setter and create angles in his approach. Shang doing bits though, number 19, with his setting ability. Todorovic in a great spot. Hats off to Serbia because China have been up and down at times, but Serbia have just kept a level of consistency, and this is, Todorovic is in the perfect place, and look how easy it makes it for the spiker. Good passing, simple setting. Kodinovic just has to put it away. We'll see some real super spikes, but oh, there's more for the passer and the setter. Shun. Super spike once again. Scoring number 14 of the afternoon. And now the top scorer, since Vucevic hasn't played in this set, be replaced by Luberic, who's now at position four. He's going to get this ball. No, he's not. They go back to the outside. Kuzanovic just smuggles through. Smart. It might not be a super spike, but it's a super, super smart spike. Knows he's got two on him. He knows he hasn't really got many angles available because the ball's so wide. So he has to try and swat it through. Ball goes wide. You've got your super spikes. And then sometimes you have your super smart spikes just don't look as powerful, but it, different situations mean different decisions from players. Ace, just when China need it the most. Shan Chun again. Sivic comes back in. Took a break at the end of the previous set. Kajanovic takes a breather. Sevic will just come in to bring some stability to the first touch, the pass, the service received, and also to try and break the rhythm. Petrovic is also back in the libero. Luberic is Addison. They're looking for four touches here. They've got it. Any challenges? Looking for the challenge. You could see with the reaction of Luberic and co that they would be looking for that.
crucial moments. Oh, it might just be off the inside arm. The Mal is definitely a touch. So we'll be having the point played again. You could just see the body language of the players. They were sure it touched the Chinese middle blockers inside hand or arm. So we're back to 2018. Character needed here from China and Shang. It's a characteristic serve of him, just a brutal blow. Liberich, though, fights fire with fire. Back to one. Substitution for China. You for Shang by the looks of it. There's another one coming our way. Liberich. He's come on and played really well, but. Phil Liberich five points so far, where Vysevich had scored 12. Almost just as effective on average. Gloria's setting to keep that one alive on the fade. There's no, he has to go back again. Fabulous work from the setter. And look how much it means to him as well. Big celebrations. Yu goes one way and then another. Keeps the dream alive for China. And they're serving with so much more consistency. Lubrich scores two from two from him at money time. The business end of this set. Lubrich loves the business end of the set. Drifting blockers, it's because of the width and the speed of the set. Difficult to keep eyes on the spiker. On court receiver, just one in it. They need this, China. Oh, off the head. That's a hammer blow. Where is it? It's gone into the stars. The roof in this building is 40 meters. Fans loving it. Still a two point game. Meow yeah, has been incredible since coming on the middle player. To the outside, face shot, Stinger, Rasper, Ripper. Let's hope he's okay. You've seen people arrested for less. It's a big, big blow. And he's okay, that's good to see. And good sportsmanship all out. No, it certainly doesn't mean to hurt anybody. Match now serving, it's another big serve. Look at China. They believe again here that they're going to just sneak a set. Well, we're in the head-to-head, -head. more substitutions. Opposite and set are changing. Shang and Yu. Again, giving three spikers on the front court key for China. Serbia have won 18 of 20 head-to-heads. Mitch off. Katic comes in. Katic, the man who plays for Skrabo hat off in Poland. Experienced player. Shank. Petkovic puts it into an OK position. Only going to the outside, though. Sevich is dug. Could be a case of what might have been there for China. They got the first touch, but the reactions from everybody around. It's a deflection. And nobody got to pounce on that at these times. Time out. Everyone's looking at each other, but somebody has to take control there. Serbia back to one. China have lost four in a row, three nil. They can see the finish line, winning their first set in five matches. It's so close, but it's also so far away for them. Serbia.
their last six matches have gone to five. It's in the balance again here. Sorry, China should see this one out. Yes, they're young. Gisevich comes back in. That's for the setter, Todrovic. Two opposites in at the moment, Lubovic and Vucevic. Be interesting to see who takes control of the set, but they're looking for a block here. Not taken. Who do you go to when you need a point? The one to watch, Shang Chun. Top scorer today with a super spike. Todorovic coming back in for Vucevic. Set point for China. They haven't won one for some time in the VNL. This might just give them the confidence they need. To the outside, block, out. You don't get much closer than that for China. Slightly drifting, not quite getting, dropping the hands inside back to the center of the court. The tables have turned and the insecurities of China are back. Todorovic, the setter, hits the crowded right side of the passing unit. Rao Shuhan trying to get his timing in the middle. Gets a horrible look from Li Lu Bin. He's got in his way, really. And that's why it's such a great serve. It's just congestion over there. The middle player wants to get in quick to take the middle blocker out from the opposing team. But you have to pass the ball first. Tension. In Gondomar. China have had an opportunity to win their first set for a long time. But now they need to side out to gain another one. Who do they go to? It's a great pass. They draw the ball from the sideline into position three. The setter whips it back towards Shang. Another one for him. 16 today. Crushing angles. Lubrich doesn't quite have his hands in a neutral position. Third set point for China. Something has to give here. Dai comes back in. Rang. Shuhan. Todorovic having to line this one up. Lubrich! Well, there was a dig somewhere there, but the ball wasn't kept in the air. Lubrich is just a bully out there, isn't he? The middle commits one on one. Shang has to take some serious angles away from the spiker there to make that block. Katic leaves. Serbia just look calm. They know they're in control overall in the grand scheme of the game, but they just won't want to open the door here for China. See if it's changes reversed. See with the serve. Right in the bread bin. Should be a routine side up. No, there's a dig. Well done, Maestrovic. Second opportunity. Block out. China. Have another set point. Of the inside hand. May it. Set point four. You have to take one, surely. Otherwise, Serbia are just going to snatch this. Big jump serve. Oh, so Ripper is out of the system. Surely China's best chance to win a set here. Taken. It's a huge, huge block from Shaq. And look at the smiles on the faces. They've lost four in straight sets in a row in this Volleyball Nations League. And they've just taken a set from Serbia. Game on.
So there you have it. China, back in business, back in the game. 27-25, it took them a few times. But service pressure, consistency. Let's have a look at some highlights. China have won a set here in Gondomar for the first time. Some statistics from set three. There's been a changing of the guard. China. Look at the blocking. Five to three. More attacks from Serbia, but we're getting used to that. Errors from Serbia have crept in. Six. But look at the difference from China. Only three. They made 29 game one. Consistency is key. When they're consistent. Much, much bigger chance of winning games. In Serbia, they weren't exactly poor throughout set three. China just improved, and that's Shang, the one to watch, number two, 17 points so far. And also, Serbia rested Vucevic, had scored 12 points in the first two sets. He was unstoppable on the right side. Lubric, fair enough, has come in and scored seven as well. But you just feel that Serbia are missing something. They can still go to Jovovic, number nine on the setter. Just news in the other games. Iran are beating Russia 2-0 and 6-2 up in set three. That's pretty important news in context of this year's Volleyball Nations League. Around and coming back. And Russia gave away a good lead in that second set, but Maruf, as per usual, just playing quarterback for Iran. Big moments. Now, drama's never far away. If you remember yesterday, five setter, Serbia, Portugal. Oh my days, we could have it all again today. Serbia beat Brazil on the opening day here, and Brazil have got their heavies with them. Yuandi Leo, Lucarelli, Lucas, Douglas, Wallace, Allen. Always expect the unexpected. Simic starting, Lubric starting, Okovic, so still no place for Vucevic. Govic is staying with his team, saying, hey, get back out there and show me what you've got. Jodrovic is setting. Roush, you're handing your picture there. Shin number 19 will start serving. Another big player, the captain, Xi Da Xiong, number 10, also made a difference in that previous set, coming on scoring five. The outside, Chase is really on Shin, chasing after that one. It's a bump, Cuddy! Ball's still alive, China! They're improving all the time! The bridge scores it.
switch into the net this time, though. Number 21 for China. Now, Rutong, six points coming off the bench. Just game changes all over the place for China. Lozano has thrown 50 darts at the board and a couple of them have stuck. Changed the context of the game. The outside, Kajanovic is spiking really good angles and because of that you don't have to always score the point but it just makes it difficult for the defender overpass Okolic happy days for him good from China the pass is again into that zone. We spoke about it after set two. When China pass well, they run a quick offense, and it's hard to track. Super spike. Middle work. The ball's drifting towards the left of the court. Orkulic drifts two, and then he Plays the ball down the left-hand side as well to try and work that gap right there between the blockers. China are playing quick, so even when they get chippy and tippy over the top, they're just rushing the blockers. Even there, there's a net touch because they're feeling under pressure. If you play high there, they're going to be more stable, they're going to get a better line. Shui. Oh, that one's still going. Didn't quite get over the top of it. It's a real quick touch of the ball instead of wrapping it and bringing the arm through. Jovovic still on the side, the captain. Just come on in set three. Hasn't really played for long periods of time. This VNL gives a chance for coaches to develop multiple players for the squad and just genuinely up the level. Speed this time from China again, but Lu Li Bin wide of the mark. You could get involved. Hashtag enjoy VNL. Just let us know what you think. Are China back in this one? Oh, maybe not. Sevic, Simic. Teaming up. There's a little smile there. Time out from China. All that good work in the previous set. This is different. Serbia just seemed to have regained some control. They seem to be serving well, making blocks, and also using the middle. Todorovic is controlling their game from the setter's position once again. <laughs> Has had many, many big moments. Brazil losing their unbeaten tag on day one, maybe the biggest, but if China can cause an upset, you'd expect Portugal will be watching this with one eye on it. Australia as well, knowing that they've got China coming their way. It's gone long. Pekovic didn't know much about that one though. If it would have dropped in, he wouldn't have been anywhere near that one. Sirovic serving. 
once again, this game peaks and troughs, really. One moment, the level's super high. Serving tough. Big plays defensively and offensively. But now it's just slowed down a little bit. Speed to the wings, too quick. Danic. Just opens up well, like elbow comes back. His arm fires through away from the body, so key to try and open up the seam actually through. That's a much better view. Technical timeout, 8 5. Serbia, after losing the previous set, have come back strong. Let's listen in to China's time. A few different languages. S Serbia. Without the likes of Atanasevic, Podokrasin, Lizniac, Kovacevic as well. There's lots of talk about the schedule being really intense, especially with Serbia playing so many five setters. Tiredness will certainly creep in, especially week three of the VNL. No tiredness there from Sudal Shuai. That's why the teams are just rotating the players because of the intense schedule, especially being in different continents week by week. But it's an incredible super spike. Especially for the players who have just finished their club season. Miss serve. Quite a few missed serves creeping in. Pekovic, the service reception, the barrow changes with Majstrovic. The Brits serving. Fast passing, bump setting, two in the block. Surely there's enough space and time, but we talk about creativity, knowing that they're under pressure. So they know that the bump set creates more time for the blocker to get out. And the captain, again, just goes to work. He's been really impressive. That's point number seven for Sheet. They're still within one here, serving well. Pekovic puts it into a great place. That's a rocket. Okolitz again. He's commanding respect through this middle position, making good decisions. His timing's good. And he also makes a good decision going down between six and one. Maybe it's just found a way down the seam. Short plays again, no middle, has to go to the outside. Two up, accuracy. Shang again. 18 points, 14, 15 now attacks. One block, two serves. And that's the Fantastic sw swing out of system to get his feet inside the ball and really stay aggressive. And after a slow start to this set, it's really come alive! And so have China! It's a monster block that seems to have taken forever to go to the floor. Looks like he drops into the angle really late. Stakes his claim. One of the most crucial blocks of this game. Where is this game going next? Back set, surely. Yes, towards Lubrich. Talk about this a lot, but that set going a long distance to try and lose the blockers. The blockers of China shifting to the right-hand side before Podrovic just flipping it back. Serbia think they've been dealt four hands here. They think they should be two up. Well, we could have a long pause on our hands here because 
the scorer's table have to track it back for some time. There's a pause in play, which will be difficult for everyone, of course. But it has to be right. It has to be fair. If you're looking at performances, Ralazano and China will be delighted with the way that they've managed to just keep plugging away throughout this last three days, but they need a result. You can talk about performances and processes, and it's so crucial that you perform and you improve, as the score has changed. But Gerbitz is very much alert to what's going on around him. But back to China, you'd be thinking that Lozano will just want a result to match the performance. Still waiting. Pause hit. Might be a welcomed rest for the players, but it might just also be a chance to lose their focus as well. The man tasked with getting this game after wet, underway after a long break is Okolitz. Softer serve, passing in system. And look who comes back into the game, Aru Tung. Wider play, great shot that one. Starts wide, shapes it back towards five. On two, dumped from Todrovic. Busty work from him. Quick work as well. work from both teams bump over chance from China with an absolute free opportunity they don't even need the three touches Chang goes to town super spike on the turn thrashing away at it no one's ready Nobody really wanted to take that one. Now Rutan misses that serve and almost bursts the bubble of China. All that excitement of the super spike and everything they're creating. You can't let Serbia off the hook. Quick plays, sharp angles. This is a completely different game to the one that we started watching almost two hours ago. Passing out of system. High ball to the right side, Liberic. This time tips over the top. Once again, it's a free ball. This time for Serbia with an absolute opportunity to go two in front again. It's agonizingly close. Did it hit the floor? Maybe there's a challenge coming. Challenge for China. Referee says yes. China say no. It goes to Hawkeye. So close. But the ball hit the floor. Still some contests from China, so which is ready to go again. This set seems to have been a long one due to all the score problems and 
challenges, timeouts, you name it. Loads of drama here in Gondomar. China looking for their first win of the weekend, looking to try and get themselves off the bottom of the VNL. Serbia, well, they've won four in a row, getting closer to five in a row, three in the block, limited Luli Bin as soon as the pass is off the net. Challenge from Serbia, they're sure they've won that. It looked as if they won that from the screen just a moment ago. It, to my eyes, it looked as if the ball was in, but the referee is giving it out the line, judge as well. Challenge, challenge, two in a row. In. By some distance. figure out what's going on. It should be two points, three points potentially for Serbia. 14-12 the scoreboard at the moment. Still some discussions going on. So much confusion. 15-12, there you go. Should be a three-point game. Big couple of points, really. Both challenges going Serbia's way. And with both challenges going Serbia's way, it's a three-point game. Passing back into a good spot, but it's a bit too tight, so the set's off. Just battling away, Serbia. Free ball for China to the middle. The timings are out between the setters and the spikers both times. First time the ball's off the net, the spikers in too early. This time, something similar. When you're so underneath the ball, you've got to get tipping, but the defense see it. They're not just watching the ball, you know. They're watching the body language of the spiker in the arm and the wrist as well. Technical timeout. Four points, Serbia now, but China are still in touch. A couple of challenges have gone against them. A bit of controversy, maybe. But still, Serbia look quite comfortable. This might not go to a fifth set, but the kings of it going to five, really, having won their last four matches in five. A 3-2 against Portugal yesterday. A 3-2 against Brazil on Friday. Serbia really did have control of this game. And they've allowed China back into it. But you have to look at Shang Shun, Miaru Tang, and Shi Dao Shui. Main components of this game. Back to the middle, the ball goes. When they pass well, they run the middle, then they can go quick to the outsides. China flourish. They really do. Lee Lee Bin. Back to three. Or oh, the toss! It's unorthodox. Lee Lee Bin has almost tossed that one far too far into the court. So he can't get over the top of it and hit it with spin. So he hits it as a bit of a float serve. Confusion for Serbia. One ace followed by one error. Blocks, defensive plays needed. Service pressure from China to try and just point by point. Passing is good again. The Bears had a fairly good few points here. Chong. The bridge gets down really well for a big guy. And just sweeps around the block. Another fantastic bit of defensive work, but they can't get past the Serbian wall. Gerbitz almost getting on the court with his team. We go back to four again. Three in, no hitting angles. That's when you have to get creative as a spiker. Three in again. 
this time, trying to go high. It's a really good swing from Sheet. And just knowing the situation. Three up, stay high. Can't really hit steep or sharp. There's no real seams available unless you can see one before you spike the ball. And well, you know that the wing spiker is really struggling to get into block as well. Kajanovic, three again. This is a big boy play at the moment. Three blockers all the time and trying to find solutions around it. Four points. I'm sure it's too far even for China. Oh, it's another race. It's a huge ace. At such an influential time, we know that Gundic can really rip them from that right side. Time out, China. They're running out of time, and maybe they're running out of ideas as well here. When they need aces and blocks, it's actually the other way around. Serbia are the ones scoring from the baseline. China need to score here desperately, and then they need to try and get a run of serves in a row, but no, Okolic, the ball's dying far, far inside. Okolic makes a great line, closes the block, and with that really goes China's hopes. Three in the block again, the pass has gone astray. It's another limiting factor of this Chinese performance, passing the ball into a good zone. Again off the net, maybe no middle attack here to the opposite. Oh, there's a fumble. Double touch. The pass being so far off the net, putting the setter under pressure. Because of that, his hands, thumbs not quite going through the ball. Finally, there's an error. points, 15 attacks, one block and one serve has been the highlight here, but he's just made way. Shan as well, number 19, double substitution, comes back in just to add another dimension to the offense on the left side, the left hand, used back in to set, there's a good change, three spikers. Doing good bits of work. The captain, what can he muster up? It's a brilliant serve. They have to try and take advantage here, and they do. Maybe there's one last push from China to try and get to the finish line here. The Brits just hammered backwards. The captain doing it himself. She again. The pipe attack, shifting the play from left to right, finding the space in the block. Key plays at a great time. That's not easy. And that brings up match point. Zanich.
Todorovic to serve. First match point for Serbia. They've been made to work really hard for this one. But the first time of asking, Serovic goes late in the block. He sees the shot. And Serbia have won again here in Gondomar. It's three from three for Serbia. Missing some key players, but they're performing. It's also their first game in seven that hasn't gone to five. Serbia have beaten China, but China can be very pleased with how they played, especially in set number three. 25-17, 25-22, 27-25 to China, 25-18 to Serbia. It's China's fifth straight loss, but their last four have been in straight sets. Iran have just beaten Russia as well, so it's all go here in the VNL on this Super Sunday. But here in Gondomar, Serbia have made it five wins in a row after losing the first four matches of this campaign. What a run. Jovic didn't really play much today, but the captain, a big part of this squad and this team. Some crazy celebrations out there. Kuzmanovic, number seven, had a quieter day today as well. He's been effective all week long. Let's have another look at the match point, shall we? China were right amongst it for a long time. But out of system. Serovic just delays his timing. Throws the ball straight back on the floor. Game over. Serbia. Take another win. we have a look at the statistics from the entire match. More attacks from Serbia, the blocking as well, more serving to in front in every capacity, really. China did grow throughout there, and they have got better and better as the weeks got on. So for Raul Lozano, the head coach of China, there will be things that he will be really pleased about, but they will be still at the bottom of the Volleyball Nations League at the end of week three. So some more statistics from Hawkeye. Just having a look at how the spikes were really flown around by the setters. 20% to the middle, 55% on the outside. So maybe just overloaded to the outside at times, but some really big weapons on either flank. Vucevic with 10 points, Lubaric as well, but lots of ball to the left-hand side. And a good proportion to the middle as well, 20%. So as we have a look at the other matches going on in the VNL, Argentina beat Germany. That's two wins in two days for Argentina. France and USA just getting underway. China have lost out to Serbia here. And Portugal v Brazil coming our way very, very soon. 40 minutes time or so here from Gondomar. Australia are winning against Japan in what would be a huge win for them in Varna. Keep an eye on that one. Bulgaria, Italy coming later. Poland have beaten Canada and Iran have just beaten Russia 3-0 and they'll stay at the top of the VNL. But for this week in Gondomar, well, Serbia and China's work are done. China have lost every game and they need to improve, but Serbia have gone undefeated. And we'll see you again very, very soon.